Here is a quick update of Ethereum. There is a pattern that is just screaming out right now. Here is a 15 minute chart actually. And I'm hoping by now some of you should be able to see this and discern the pattern pretty easily. It's a very common pattern. So we call it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And yet prices kept continuing. So what I'm going to do is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's potential. <coughs> But I'm not going to label the count right now, but I want to see if you can do a chart pattern recognition here. You should be able to. We had covered this kind of chart pattern a good number of times already. Okay, ready? There you go. This is a head and shoulders bottom. Remember when I said for head and shoulders top, something like this. If it's leaning to the right, it's the weakest. If it's leaning to the left, it's the not as weak. Horizontal, like this, is so so middle. For head and shoulders bottom, when it's leaning to the left, it's the strongest. Based on historical observations, not by me, but by the stock trends and chart pattern book that I had recommended. So if this is correct, then and this is the neckline, then the prices should exceed this neckline to, to give that confirmation just like on this one. Price is busted out below, broke through the neckline to give that confirmation. There could be a different variation of this as well. Go like this. So you can say prices did already break out of the neckline, came back through, and it's not preparing to go back out of it again. Possible. So the significance of this pattern adds to the probability that this could have been the bottom of wave 4. I'm not going to call it yet unless this gives me a confirmation which is an inverse of the confirmation that was given for this as well. Remember in my big picture I had given two potentials for wave four. One was, the first significance was A will bounce off the first major horizontal dollar line support, giving B, that happened. And it'll have to break through this, the neckline pretty much, to complete the head and shoulders. That did happen. Prices crashed to then the next major horizontal support, which was around 3,000. Prices are now bouncing off this. Off of every major support, prices will bounce off, just like it bounced off here. Then it's bouncing off right now. So is the current bounce just a bounce, or is it a uh, onset of a new rise to all-time highs for wave 5? I don't know yet. Now the second possible potential was the third horizontal support line, or rather below it, where the 2000 is. And I had said that this would most likely happen if the selling pressure is so excessive, it will just pierce through, maybe even momentarily briefly before it just immediately turns and runs up again. Just like the way it almost immediately turned and ran up in the current bounce. I don't know. There's another support along the tops of this as well. More of a medium support. Okay? So you could then bounce around in this region if it does get there. 
but for now it has bounced off the second major dotted horizontal support which makes sense it has met the minimum price trajectory and exceeded the minimum pri price trajectory of this head and shoulders pattern that's another confirmation that maybe this is wave four bottom i'm leaning towards that let's see what happens with the overnight prices having said that <coughs> again head and shoulders left shoulder head right shoulder let's see if it pierces and breaks through it overnight it may just hit here and just crash back down towards the horizontal line which was around 3000 here and go towards the third horizontal line which is not more on the proximity of 2000 to 2600 nothing is for certain but it's looking interesting right now i'm leaning towards that this could be wave four not calling it yet i also said i'll be making a ladder here and a second ladder around in this region i took you all through the first laddering of this using bitcoin litecoin bitcoin cash and i hope that was very helpful in the event it bounces and just goes right through if it reaches 2300 or so I'll be making and building my second ladder. This is the reason why you have dry powder. This is the reason why you never do everything in a single transaction. You ladder yourself in. And because I saw two major supports, I figured I'll be prepared to make two ladders. And that is the plan and strategy I'm still sticking by. If you have any questions, please post. Um, and also, if you have any um, other analysis requests, I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you.